Hey, podcaster. I'm Tim Olberg, your podcast performance coach, with another actionable tip so you can sound like a pro and gain more podcast fans. Today's tip is make your first question count. So, how'd you get started? Why don't you tell us about yourself? Mmm, boring. When you start with a typical or boring question, your episode will instantly give that same vibe. Not only to your listener, but also to your guest. You've gone ahead and given them the impression that this is going to be just another typical interview that they've given a hundred times before. As a podcast coach, I'm thinking to myself, you as a podcast host are either lazy, you don't care, you have zero creativity, or maybe you just don't know better. And that last one I can excuse. So it is really important to start your episode with something that will grab your listeners' attention. Another reason you want to do this is if your guest has a good time on your show and it's memorable, they're more likely to share it. So, how do you make it a good time for your guest? Booze, weed, oh, or start by grabbing their attention. Bring the unexpected. So, after you've introduced the topic and made your audience care about it, after you've introduced your guest by sharing why they are relevant to that topic and only that topic, not their entire bio, is when you start off your episode with an amazing question. For more on these incredible helpful topics and how to execute them, listen to episode 19 of Just the Tip. Tell us about yourself is not a question. And episode 40, how to properly introduce your podcast guest. I recently did a 15-minute coaching call with a realtor from L.A. He connected because he wanted to make his interviews more interesting. He knew he didn't want to be boring. He knew he needed to stand out and make an impression. One of his upcoming interviews was with the number one realtor in Los Angeles. So we talked about coming out of the gate with something different, like who's number two in his market and how cutthroat is it at the top? You know, you're likely going to cover a lot of issues that have been talked about before with your guests, but try coming at it from a different angle. It means you're going to have to do a little bit of work here. Find that little known fact from that obscure blog you found about them. Let that rare fact help introduce that first question. But you don't want your guest to go into a defensive mode. So be careful here. Your first question doesn't have to be offensive or overly challenging, complicated, or obscure. Let's be honest. We've all heard a great question on another podcast and thought, oh man, I love that question. I want to use that so bad on my show. Um, You know what? It's okay. Borrow it for a show and make it your own. I love this question that I found online once. It was, how would your parents describe what you do for a living? I only laugh because I have to think of how my mother would describe my work. Mom? Yeah, I always struggle with that. I just say that you're in business for yourself. Oh, you do podcasts and uh, you do... Um... You take pictures and <laughs> and uh, you and Val work together and you do, I don't know, I don't... What you've said is perfect. Oh, okay. So I've recorded that and that's going to be in my latest episode. Oh my gosh! So my challenge to you is don't be typical and don't be predictable. This means don't be lazy when it comes to your first question. Spend a little more time on it. It sets the tone for your entire episode. One of the best compliments you can get from a guest is nobody has ever asked me that before. And I hope that's just the tip you need. <laughs> Subscribe to Just the Tip right now if you haven't already and share these five minute golden nuggets with your fellow podcasters. But if you've got more than five minutes, why not take advantage of my free 15 minute coaching call? Me and you talking about your show and how we can make it better. Book your free 15-minute coaching call at podcastperformancecoach.com. I'm Tim Walbert. See you.